In this video, we're going to take a look at bringing data into the uh, Master Data Services. And so, uh, so we can see what data we have in here currently, <clears throat> that is what members. I'm going to go into Explorer, and I'm going to take a look at the employee entity. And as you see right now, I have only one uh, member down here, which is Bon Jovi. First name Bon, last name uh, Jovi down here. So we'll go ahead and see if we can bring some data in. The tables that we're going to be working with to do that over in MDS are this uh, table staging member and I've already executed this batch just so I can come in and show it to you down here. We're going to be bringing in to the human resources model and here are these into the entity employees member types one which is a leap member. Down here are these member codes and I'm going to bring them on in. Right. So there we'll, do, we'll work with the uh, staging uh, member table and then if we were going to bring attributes, so if I was going to bring in the email, the phone, etc. of these different employees, the other attributes we have, had configured, we would be using the uh, attribute table. And if we were going to be working with relationships between entities and between uh, um, uh, hierarchies, we'd use the relationship table. If we come in and take another look at that so you can get it again. Here is my entity, uh, and you see last name, division, email. These are all attributes of entity code one, and we're going to be bringing more of those in. I did this with an SSIS package. I've already executed up here, and I've got 787 rows. Let's uh, break out of this and see what I did. Uh, there's a number of different ways to uh, bring this information on in. You can use web services. I prefer uh, SSIS because... Uh, you know, my background. So if we take a look at the flat file and I go through and edit it, I'm into Contosa, which I happen to be uh, pulled the uh, data out of. And the columns that I'm bringing in down here are the uh, required ones. And I'm bringing down here like this, and I'll cancel on out of that. And now we'll look at our, our destination. And if I come into my edit, and I go over into the mappings, and you see as I'm mapping into this table, this destination column, this ID and batch ID, usernames, this username is going to be populated with me as I'm logged on in. Batch IDs are going to be self-populated. And then if I had an error code, that's going to be generated down here also. So <clears throat> we'll say OK, and now we'll switch on over to, um, we'll go home in the uh, Master Data Services uh, Manager over here. And I'll go into Integration Management and drop on down. And you see Model Human Resources has uh, 787 records to be brought in down here, just so you can see. If I switched over to like the partner and drop that on down, I don't have any records in the, well, I need to select a version. I don't have any records in the, to be imported again. So let's go back over to Human Resources. And again, select from the only version I have, version 1. And sorry about the paging. Um, just trying to keep this to a minimum. I'm now going to select to batch it and you see we immediately moved up here to the batches and it's queued to run and I'm going to pause this give it a chance to run. Okay now I'm going to and I selected my human resources and, re, and I'm going to go ahead and look at the details and I come in and you see it's uh, down here my details if I had any errors should be showing up in here and we'll come back again and again. Now the status is viewed over to not running. So let's go back home. And again, we've got Human Resources version 1. Let's go into the Explorer, Entities. Again, we'll look at Employee. And as you see down here, <clears throat> I have um, a number of different employees down here, Bon Jovi. And I have all these other employees that I've, I've imported down here with my uh, codes. And now I'm going to have to go back through and import them and uh, add the different um, attributes that I have, you know, department, hire, date, first name, etc. on across. This uh, process is uh, the uh, uh, exact same thing. When I'm bringing in the different um, attributes for my members, <clears throat> the only uh, real difference is I'm going to be bringing it into a different table. Again, I'm going to be bringing it into my uh, member attribute table and then my import files will be different as I'm bringing in my member table. Let's take a look at that. See as again as I bring it on down here now I'm going to have to I'll select the member type ID which is a member is going to be one and then the member codes 
and then from the member codes is where we'll extract out the attribute name and the attribute values so as you see done within here and by the way this is interesting these in this partner when it was uh, brought on in you see there were some errors down here and then I can drill on through there and take a look at the errors as a matter of fact let's see that was with partner okay let's go in and take a look at that and let's go back home and switch over to partner and let's go with um, well let's try version 2 of see and see if that's where it was and we'll go over into integration management and move this down here partner version 2 and let's see there's my three errors and we're going to view that so now you see partner as I drill on across there's the error and come through the member code already exists so you see you'll get your output and then you'll get your error description